And welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors Channel. My name is Chris, bringing it to you here from a beautiful Westlake Village, California. It's bright, it's beautiful, it is sunny. Happy 4th of July. And if you want to join the Bitcoin 101, how to grow your crypto wealth, Join while there's a sale, July 4th sale uh, coming up here right now. You can sign up for free. I highly recommend you check out. Link is in the description below. Let's get back into Bitcoin. And I want to call the title of this message, uh, The Recession That Never Happened. Yes. And what am I talking about? Well, Goldman Sachs just revised down their forecast for a recession over the next 12 months to 35% from 25% increase the near-term uncertainty around the economic effects of small bank stress. And secondly, uh, we've got the storm signals are flying from Evercore, the founder saying the U.S. is barreling towards a recession. They're all talking about Fed rate hikes and how it could damage the economy. So the recession hasn't happened yet, but we talked about it early in the year, said maybe Q4 or Q1 of next year. Um, just keeping our eyes aware of that. Uh, right now we're having a bit of a green day for crypto and the fear and greed index, people are getting more greedy. You've got open interest at 10.13 billion. So we wanna see that blue line continue to tick up if we're gonna see upside momentum. And then you've got the uh, funding rates, you're paying to go long, inconsequential there in the leverage ratio. We wanna see that tick back up as well. I do imagine it's probably quiet and sideways over the holidays, but um, did want to give out some targets if Bitcoin does break the four hour range uh, to the upside uh, above, call it 31.5. And I'm looking for a move up to about 32.8 or 32.5. And to the downside, a four hour correction, I'm looking for a move down to 28,500. Um, and again, that is the break of the four hour range. However, what else do I want to talk about? Um, yeah, is this recession not happening? Is stock market, you know, um, apparently making new all-time highs at the moment or not new all-time highs, but uh, new highs for the years. But again, our thesis is still here, you know, until we can get above that 786, likely to sell off first. However, Dixie on the other side, uh, when the dollar goes down, typically Bitcoin goes up. If we do confirm this as a, another local high, which it's, you know, to be fair, not, not, the, best, not the best high, but um, we have downside pressure on the weekly time frame. Uh, looking for a move all the way down to 101.26 back to the bottom side of the range. So, and the silver cross present. Now, for you Bitcoin bulls out there, I guess I will give you the, uh, you know, the bullish case here on the weekly time frame. We had identified a trend reversal on the weekly time frame, which is a higher low paired with higher highs, right? Higher low, higher high, higher low, and trend co continuation. Then we got the silver cross right there. This silver cross has resulted in some massive gains over the past years, going back in the dawn of history of Bitcoin. Every time you get the 21 exponential, that's the yellow line, crossing the green 55 on the weekly time frame. Well, this move took us from 8,000 to 60,000. This move from 7,000 to 13,000. And in 2015, we went from, you know, this silver cross at $300 all the way up to $20,000. So points for the bulls there. Additionally, on the six month time frame, you have hidden bullish divergence. And what is that? Well, the price is making a higher low, higher lows. And then on the RSI, we've got a pair of lower lows. So that should get you a shot to the top side of the range, uh, which is going to come in right around 45, 42 to 45,000 bucks. Somewhere in that zone right there. Um, for all you altcoin, uh, boys and girls out there, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the people that are looking to play the altcoins. Tether, uh, you know, the question I get is a lot of times, you know, when altcoin season, when altcoin season? Well, um, I want to bring our attention to Tether dominance. And when Tether dominance does go down, I mean, if we break this to the downside, that's going to look good for a little uh, altcoin run. And that is the stronger altcoins. But more importantly, ETH Bitcoin is putting in a higher low on the daily time frame. And when ETH Bitcoin goes up, well, typically altcoins have a chance to rally. There you see Ethereum starting to take off and target on Ethereum is about 2140. First target is 20,000. 
25. Um, that's for ETH, but ETH Bitcoin, the chart I was looking for is this guy right here. Yeah, massive green girthy candle and back inside of the range. So a little bit of a deviation there. Targeting a move minimum up to the green 55 and, uh, you know, maybe the top side of the range or this trend line. And that to provide some altcoin rally. But essentially what we want to do is break above this trend line. And for us to really get bullish on altcoins, that's when I think perhaps alt season. So long ways away from that uh, at the moment. And I think with that, um, that's that's enough for today's video. I go. I hope, you know, points are for the bulls all around, dollar up, stocks up. You know, Bitcoin confirming some major things on some higher term time frames, grinding up against the top side of the range at 31,000 right now. Everybody should be excited for the new year and maybe some Bitcoin bulls will buy some Bitcoin to celebrate America's freedom tomorrow. Hope you guys have a blessed and highly favored rest of your day. Take care.